Oh wow, look at her. She's stunning. She's sitting at this table in this restaurant with all her family. I'd love to meet her, but I don't feel like going there. They're, they're all gonna think it's awkward. She is cute, but she's, she's running and she's, not, she's never gonna stop for me. Do these stories sound familiar? Well, if they do, this is totally normal. I'm gonna tell you a secret. We all have those stories. Me, certainly you, all my students, everyone. I'm David Vibe, a coach at The Attractive Man. And in this video, I wanna destroy your limiting beliefs when it comes to approaching women in uncomfortable situations. I'm Matt. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. My name is Josiah. Josiah is a master at day game. So I'm David. Absolutely adorable. Yeah, thank you. We've done all the testing. We know what works. I'm excited to introduce you to David Vibe, our European instructor here at The Attractive Man, who is also our youngest and most fastest growing instructor to date, who went from student, starting at a very low level with a lot of approach anxiety, all the way to instructor in less than one year going through our two-year training program, which normally takes two years, but he did it in just one year, which is really impressive. And he has a wealth of knowledge. He's a really smart guy, and he's teaching boot camps all over Europe. So make sure to check out our boot camp schedule. And I'll put a link to that down in the description. I have heard all kinds of excuses. I was in this park in San Francisco, I think, with one of my students, and he saw this girl, so I encouraged him to go and approach. And he turns to me and says, I can't approach this girl. She, she is with her dog and she is not gonna like me, and the dog is gonna feel it and he's gonna bite me. What? <laughs> and he really believed what he was saying. Let's face it, making excuses only sends negative information to your brain and enforces this belief that you are not good enough. So in this video, I want to show me approaching girls in uncomfortable situations. I like to be real, so I'm gonna show you everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification icon. That way, you're gonna be notified whenever we post new content to help you skyrocket your results with women and in your life in general. And if you don't get notified, well, we are not gonna wait for you. Let's dive into it. Uh, real quick, just a second. Yeah. I know this is totally random, but you just passed me and we had a, a strong eye contact. Yeah. So I just thought I would come here and try to meet you. Oh yeah, okay. I'm David, Hi. what's your name? Sissy. Sissy, nice yeah. to meet you. And you are all? <laughs> the father? Nice to meet you, father. And you are? Frederick. Frederick, the brother. The brother. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh, oh, all of them. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your journey. Hello, I'm, <laughs> I'm David. Mother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, mother. Uh, so listen, I gotta catch up my friends, but before I go, can you tell me something interesting about yourself? Something interesting about myself? Yes. So I'm from Sweden. You're all from Sweden? Yeah. That's cool. I'm from Switzerland, so like people really? always mix the two. Yeah, I know. So they always think I'm from Sw <laughs> from Sweden. So listen, guys, I gotta catch up my friends. Yeah, I will not... you should do that. But um, I like your vibe, so uh, oh. I don't know how long you stay here, but maybe we should connect oh, yeah. at some point. For like a week. Do you have an Instagram or phone yeah. number or anything? Yeah. If you don't mind, of course. <laughs> It's not true. <laughs> there are actually a lot of benefits in approaching women in uncomfortable situations. And whenever I feel tense or nervous before making an approach, I like to remember the simple word safe. S stands for strength. Every time you're stepping into tension, you're growing your social muscle. It's kind of like going to the gym and lifting heavier and heavier weights. Or more precisely, it's like going to the gym and lifting weights with more intensity. That way, next time, when you are gonna do a regular approach, a woman alone, a woman in a coffee shop or at the beach, it's gonna be so easy, so normal, and you can only feel much more confident and your interaction is gonna have much more impact. Hey, real quick, uh, just a second. I know you're in a hurry, I see it, but uh, I just passed you and I saw you and I thought I had to come over and at least say hi because you're absolutely adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and yeah. David, what's your name? Sanya. Sanya. You're obviously like Eastern European or something. Yeah. Is it that obvious? Like, people always guess it. From where? Serbia. Serbia, okay. Yeah. I'm from Czech Republic, so like, oh, okay. I feel the, the, yeah, yeah, the, the vibes. Blood. Exactly. Yeah. Are you, are you a student? <laughs> and your eyes are very unique. Yeah. I've never seen that before, actually. <laughs> I couldn't see them from far, but like, yeah, it's very... Uh, yeah, I'm a student here. I, I'm gonna guess your age. Uh, really? 
So, do you do something like uh, a sport when you use your hands a lot? Yeah, rock climbing. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, so that's not, that's not going to help me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you, I guess you're something like 24 or something? 23 this year. 23 this year? Mm -hmm. So your hands are, yeah, older than My you are. My hands are not representative. Yeah, I'm 23 too. I better yeah. care of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, use some cream or something. I was really in hurry because Yeah, yeah, I've seen bags. that. Yeah, yeah, and I have to catch up with friends anyway, but like uh before I go and before you go, I don't know anything about you. Tell me something interesting about yourself. Uh, I am not a particularly interesting person. I study psychology and Russian literature. Uh, and Russian literature do you speak uh Russian Panyama Panyama Ruski? <laughs> I understand, but like, yeah, yeah you Serbian understand too. But like, yeah, what, what brought you into psychology? What do you want to do? Like children, Cogn adults? Cognitive psychology. Cognitive, so, cognitive okay. psychology, neuroscience, language acquisition. Neuroscience. That's actually interesting. You see, you're more interesting than you think, probably. Because like, I'm, uh, like, I'm studying theoretical physics, mm -hmm. but what I want to do is, uh, so I, I'm starting a coaching business, which involves a lot of like, psychology to like uh, TCC and okay. those kind of stuff yeah so I'm like already working with people on that it's like one of my passions so that's interesting uh, oh, just before you go let's exchange numbers and let's get okay let's meet sometimes do you want to find me on Facebook uh, you don't exchange numbers I don't do you have Instagram numbers. no you don't have Instagram you just have Facebook you'll yeah. you're old school I'm old school pretty much see that good good luck this week Yes, and I'll nice. shoot you a text like beginning of next week. Okay, nice to meet All you. All right. And I may put you in touch with the other David. Awesome. I wish you a great yeah, day. Nice day. With Bye. My <laughs> a is acceptance. Every time you're stepping outside your comfort zone, you're accepting a little bit more your new reality. Yes, the reality of a strong, confident man that not only approaches women in every situation, but more importantly, the reality of the new you that has the power, that has the willingness and then has the courage to go for whatever he wants in his life. Uh, real quick guys, sorry to... I know you are going like eating and it's a bit weird, but I just saw you walking across the street and I thought your girlfriend was absolutely adorable. Where's my girl? Just... <laughs> Thank you very much. much your girlfriend? We all work together, but thank you. You all work together. They are adorable. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. So, yeah, you're very you. adorable. I'm David. What's your name? Zara. Nice to meet Zara, you. Zara, nice to meet you. And you, Buzz. The handsome co workers. <laughs> Hello. Hurry. Nice to meet Sorry. you. Hey, uh, so I gotta catch up my friends, and you gotta go grab some food, I guess. Yes, we are what? up for a meeting yeah, right we now. Yeah, we got a meeting so. we're gonna do. We got a little work to do. Sorry. Oh, really all right. Important. Before I go, very quickly, tell me something fun about you. I, I wish I could. I um, we're having a meeting and we're yep. kind of running out. We it's together. professional. Yes. Yep. It is. Oh, okay. I got it. It's very bad. Very sad. <laughs> I wish you a great day, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you. Goodbye. And as you build the strength and accept the new person you are, you become free. And a free man has this ability to see the world a little bit like a child, that is, as the playground for his own enjoyment. And with this perspective, every situation as uncomfortable as it is, becomes a new opportunity to generate stories and experiences, things that can positively impact your life. And as you can guess, a man like that is very powerful. Past you, I saw you and you cut my eyes. And so I just thought I had to say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's your name? I'm David. Taylor. Taylor. And your parents? David, nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. You're, si you're single? That's fine. Yeah, no, go. Hello, <laughs> I'm David. <laughs> I heard about San Francisco that like here people are very open-minded about that. It's true actually. But <laughs> what was your name again? Like with all those names I was... Taylor. Taylor, okay cool. <laughs> so how do you guys know each other? That's not gonna work. Oh, you're married. That's fine. Is this your husband or your father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our dog. Right here. Oh, what's his name? Walter. Okay. Walter. So, so congratulations for... <laughs> for <Taylor. laughs> That's fine. I wish you a great day to all of you. Enjoy your drink. Goodbye. <laughs> and guess what is a free, strong, 
confident man that accepts his own values. This man is exceptional. And women notice that super fast. Think of it this way. Women are very aware when a situation is or is not uncomfortable for you. So when you take action, despite the discomfort, you're getting a bonus point. Women are usually approached by drunk guys on the middle of the street when she's going back home from the nightclub. How is that exceptional? So whenever she's approached by a man that is safe, she can feel safe in return. She is gonna like you so much more because your interaction is gonna have a much bigger impact on her. And whenever you are gonna get a phone number in one of those difficult situations, a phone number or even more, this women is most likely to give a lot of value in return to you because she knows and she sees the exceptional man you are. Hey, real quick, just a second. I know you are hanging out with your family, but you just passed us and I had to come over and say hi. I thought you were absolutely pretty. Hi, thank you. My name is David, what's your Anna. name? Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mama. Oh, I don't know. David, nice to meet you guys. Are you guys visiting here? Yeah. Yeah. You look like um, like your style. You must be like in uh, in. Uh, are, do do you have a business in modeling no. or something? No. Actually. Clothes. Huh? In clothes, clothing. No, but I want. To. What do you do? I'm student. What do you study? High school. Oh, high school still. Yeah. Okay. Are you over 18? No. Yeah. Oh no. Almost. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> That's cool. I wish you a great day, guys. Thank you. Look, we all tend to overthink possible obstacles that come in our way when it comes to talking to women. But let's face it, this is just a good way to rationalize our fear of approaching. It's so easy to say that we didn't approach because the environment was against us or because the gods, the gods were against us. The reality is simple. You're almost never gonna see this hot girl alone with anyone on the street, walking super slowly towards you, making a huge smile and an eye contact to invite you to go talk to her. The truth is simple. You are the man. You have to go for it. You have to take action and overcome how you feel. So next time you go out, remember the simple word, safe. Hey, hey, real quick, just a second. We're uh, no, no, no. I, what? I, I, I have to try, try again. What? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Yes. I, it's, I know it's bad to interrupt your, your workout. I had to come over and say hi. Say um, something. Hello. I'm David. What's your name? Gwen. Gwen. It's yours. Kerrigan. Awesome, Kerrigan. Uh, you're obviously fit, but I cannot run after you for like one minute before you say that. So thanks for stopping. Yes. What do you do? Me? Yeah. I'm visiting like I'm from Switzerland. I moved here. Oh, cool. Huh. This is my friend actually, he just saw me running after you. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'm Kerrigan. Kerrigan? Great yes. name, Kerrigan. Thank you. Take these off. Okay. All right, well, we gotta keep going because we have to be on schedule, but yeah. You play soccer? Yeah. You look like a soccer player, right? I did my whole well, life, but then I eat at ran this track in college. amazing sandwich place. You were okay. forward? Yep. No, I was actually right back. Right back. Uh -huh. Right back and right forward. If you so, like sandwiches, yeah. you right. probably I do. do like sandwiches. Uh, car what do you mean? Yes, I What do. does it I like? Uh, what's your personality like? Um, Very independent. When do you find out? So. I don't know. Very Probably. independent? Yeah. At the end of the trip. Like uh, in what sense? I don't know. Me, for example, I hate when someone tells me what what I should yeah, do or not. Yeah, I don't like you either. Or something? I think not so. a fan. I'm not sure. All right, we they really have to go because I have to be at class at five and we have to do a 35 minute run right now. But it was nice to meet, it was, to meet you. So before you leave, Leo, what about exchanging phone numbers? Let's uh, put uh, your phone number on my phone. Okay. I'm here for uh, three more days. You already got here, one. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Great. Nice Best of luck to you, Kerrigan. If you like this video, well, let us know. And also, make sure to comment in the comment section down below and tell you what you would like to see next. Don't be shy. Matt already has one video where he shows how you should talk to girls with their moms. But what do you want to see next? What other scenario do you want us to break down? What approaches that you have seen in this video you would like me to break down in detail for you? Now, if you want to work personally with me, and with the other members of the team, then check out the links down in the description and schedule a free breakthrough session where we are gonna assess your situation and figure out what is the best plan to get you where you wanna be regarding where you are right now. And if you want us to take you in field, role play with models, talk to hundreds of women with me, then check out our bootcamp schedule. We are all over the world. We are in the US, we are in Europe. 
don't miss that life-changing opportunity. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have it yet, Matt created an awesome confidence cheat sheet. In it, you are gonna find 18 proven ways to boost your confidence and get closer to what we talked in this video. It's simple, man. I read it recently and honestly, I thought that if I had that earlier, well, things would have been so much easier for me. So don't waste your time. Click on the image that appears on the right of your screen and download your free confidence cheat sheet. It was David Vibe with The Attractive Man. I'm looking forward to see you in person. And until then, stay safe and I see you in the next video.